Hi everyone! In my last video, I showed you how to add and edit sections to customize your website. In this video, I'll go more in detail about managing your web pages. So we're here on my website homepage, and to make customizations for existing pages, we can go over here to Manage Pages. So you can click on this, and you can see that I have my Pages menu right here. And this lists all of my pages and items in my website menu, which is over here. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on a gear icon that appears once you hover over a page title. I'll just click on the gear icon for the FAQs page that I made in the last video. So you can see at the top you can click on page settings, which I'll go over later in this video. Here are some quick links to your page permissions and page SEO, which you can also access in the page settings. You can set the page as home, and that means it will be the first page that visitors will land on when they type in your URL to enter your website. If you choose to hide from menu, your page will be kept online and it will be simply hidden from the website menu. That means your visitors will not be able to navigate to your page through your site menu. For example, you can see that I just hit it so it disappeared from the menu. And I'll just choose to show it again in the menu. The move up and move down arrows allow you to rearrange your website menu. For example, notice how the FAQs page is last on the menu, but if I move it up, it's now before contact. You can also set a menu item as a sub-item, which will make it a drop-down under another website item. For example, if I click on the settings for contact, I can choose to make this section a sub-item of my FAQs. So my contact menu item is now a drop-down under FAQs. You can also clone a page easily with this button. This is a great technique to help you copy your design to other pages to save you some time, and you can simply customize the page title and content of the cloned pages. For example, I'm going to go ahead and click on the gear icon next to the welcome page, and then I'll clone that page. And to change the page title for the cloned page, I'll just click Settings, Page Settings, and I'll change the title right here. I'll just change it to About Us and I can customize the page content later. If you don't want your page to exist online, but you also don't want to delete it from the builder, you can choose to Disable Page. That means you'd be able to keep all of the content on that page, but it wouldn't be visible to any viewers, so you can still edit the page on the site builder and enable it again in the future. Lastly, to delete a page, you can just click right here. Note that you won't be able to delete or disable a web page that you've set as your home page. You can also click on these items to navigate to different pages and linked sections in your builder. Or you can use this drop down right here. So I'll just click Manage Pages again. And let's click the gear icon next to one of the pages to open up the page settings. So that's right at the top here. Once you click that, you can see different settings that you can customize for each page. Under General, you can change the page title like I showed you earlier. And this is how your page title will appear in your site menu. You can also customize the URL address of the page right here. Here you can set the visibility of your page. And under Permissions, you can click on the drop down here and choose who can view the page. For example, you can set the page so that only visitors with a password will be able to see the content. I'll just enter a password for the page here. This is a great feature, for example, if you want to privately share information with a client. You can also make the page accessible to members or certain member groups. In the SEO section, you can see that we have an SEO title and description, which can help with the search engine's understanding of what your site is, and can also be how your page will appear in search engine results.
Under social sharing, you can upload an image to encourage social media sites to display this image when your web page is shared on social media sites. So now I'm going to show you how to add a page. Just click on this link right here. You can choose the type of page you want to add. And I want to add a testimonials page, so I'll just add a blank page. But you can see how there are different types of presets for pages right here. I'll add the page to menu. And then I'll give the page a title, which is the same title that will appear in the site menu. I'll add page to the menu. So you'll see it's added to the menu right here. And now I'll click to add a section. I see that there's a testimonials preset section, so I'll click that. I'll choose this design right here. And in my previous video, I showed you how to edit your sections, so be sure to check that video out. In the next video, I'll go over the header and footer areas of your website. But if you're happy with your website design and ready to make it go live online, just click publish in the top right hand corner. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.